Night, Charlie Alpha. This is the instructor. I'm going to send my students solo. Um, I'm about to hop out. Saturday, January 12th. It's the night before I'm supposed to solo. I'm feeling a little bit jittery. And um, when I do that, I tend to organize things. So I thought I would go into my flight bag and just take some inventory and make sure that I have everything that I need. And I'm very bag dependent, so I like to have my bag on me with everything possible in it, including things I probably don't need. First instructor, we always had a script that we used. It's good, even though you start to memorize this, sometimes it's just good to have your eyes on it and and reinforce learning. I like to close my eyes and see a picture of things, so when I do this, it just kind of reinforces um, some things like, yes, I make the runways. And I also put different headings on there. If I'm in the pattern, what heading to turn to. It's part of my pre-flight mental preparation to at least have some headings, because with a lot going on and talking to ATC, sometimes it's, um, good to have some things in the back of your head prepared. And the checklist. I like to make my own checklist because my thoughts are uh, the laminated ones that come with the aircraft can be used over and over, but I actually like to write on my checklist, maybe make a notation, how much oil, anything like that. Um, usually it's a little more prettier colors, but my printer ran out of ink. My thoughts are once you do your initial, your engine start, your pre-taxi, and all those types of things, you don't have to dig through a very small font laminated checklist to go to, um, you know, your next. I like to write my instructions. I think it's a good practice, you never know, because there's so much going on. Uh, like yesterday, I got taxi instructions, golf, Mike, Charlie, cross runway, Two four hold short one zero. It's a little hold short. It's hold short, and then go up the hill, then go down the hill, and then go around the corner. Watch for the jet on taxiway Lima. Caution with turbulence. And here's the checklist in action. And my instructor calls my cheat sheets. Got all kind of stuff under here. You know, emergency procedures. I love stalls. I mean, I love stall so much that I had to write out <laughs> how to do stall. It just keeps my head something to review, even though you know how to do them in your head. It's always good to go and put your eyes back on something. Fly a diamond. You know that when you have to test the stall strip, what you have to do with it, you have to put your mouth over the wing of the aircraft, over the hole, and suck and when you do that you can hear your stall horn i have several of these i was a safety director for water skiing so i had to take cpr class this is my mask that i put over the wing and it could come in handy too for other purposes you know somebody goes down i'm ready then you have the pre-solo written exam and i know they're going to quiz me again because well i draw things it's a great looking jet right I know all of this stuff and right aways, but I just like to reinforce it because when I draw things, I tend to remember them and I can recall them out of my memory quickly. The, the half-eaten granola bar you find somewhere in the buried in the bag. The pad does not have um, any data plan with it, so I will take this. You never know. I haven't used it that much on my instructions because I am using the G1000, but um, I like the pinch and zoom. Do you have your iPad with your logbook in ForeFlight? Yes, yes, those are my hours. I have excuses, I have reasons. Charging banks, so I have one, two, three bank, one Snoopy bank, it's mostly for my phone. And then you have this other bank. Sometimes it goes dead, so I have the backup bank. Um, so these banks, these chargers are being charged. So we're charging the chargers. Here is um, something that you know you have to have. One of the things on your checklist, the natural medical. Glasses, I have two set of glasses with bifocals with readers because I can see far but not near. I have my nerdy pair. 
which are really good. They're narrow, so it's easy to look down and glance at the G1000 and then glance out and be able to see outside the airplane. Then I have my designer pair. It's used for backup, and I carry two pair, and I always did because if my glasses fall off, you don't want to be digging out from underneath the rudders or anywhere else while you're flying. I also watched a video of a guy who had a bird strike and it then knocked his glasses off his head and he had a difficult time seeing but he did a great job of landing the airplane on that video. Noise cancelling headset um, with an extra spare batteries because yesterday I was flying and the batteries were going bad. I was with my instructor. With it going in and out, it was really distracting. I had to say, your airplane. And he took the airplane. I had to dig through my bag, which this case was in, to find my batteries. Good to have extra pair of batteries within reach, especially if you're going to fly alone. There's not going to be an instructor there going, fetch your batteries or take over the airplane for you. Here's an old school um, GoPro. Uh, I tried to put this under the wing, but the thing kept shutting off. Rubber bands to attach these banks to the GoPro, because if you've ever gopro you know they don't last very long. Pencils, leads, for the lead pencil, because you know, you know, you go clicking on that thing and the lead's not coming out. Here is your essential red flashlight that we all extra mechanical pencils extra pens and pencils a purple one and one that writes on the iPad probably the only really girly thing in my bag is um, gotta have a lip gloss I like to wear lipstick so you're looking nice and pretty when you're flying even though you're sweating and hairs flying everywhere and your shirt's soaking wet. Guys, girls, you know we gotta have these. There's flying all over in your face and also whacking your instructor in the head. I also have been carrying around since, oh, probably for about six years now, this little pin. So I bought this shirt about a year and a half ago, and there's a story behind it. I actually had a dream about angel wings and my father, who is no longer with us, and he always wanted to fly a Cessna. Well, I'm not flying a Cessna, but I am flying a Diamond, and I did fly Pipers and Cirruses and a lot of other aircraft, so I'm doing a lot more than what he did, but this is for my solo, and I want my wings clipped, and we're going to cut out my wings and I will frame them. I have my owl pants because owls fly. I like owls. I don't know why. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Divisor. I think I got this in Walmart. Not very comfy because it has a big buckle on the side that digs into my ear. And the sun is pretty bright in Florida, so uh, visors are necessary. I don't like wearing visors. Also in the flight bag is your iPhone charger and your USB charger. You never know in case you have to charge the chargers. Uh, then you also have this, this headlamp with a dead fish on it. And of course, keep that away from your half-eaten granola bar. For flying at night when you don't need those um, extra two pairs of sunglasses, I also have another pair I keep in the side pouch here. Student pilot certificate, make sure you have that. I remember when I first got mine, I didn't pay too much attention to it. And a friend of mine, um, I was looking at his, and I said, oh wow, you have your picture on yours. I don't have my picture on mine. <laughs> I didn't have my glasses on, I really couldn't see, so this dude was blurry. And <laughs> no, it's not my picture. Here we have a little cloth, you never know flying along, might need to wipe something. This is to tighten up the prop filter, a little gadget. It has multi-purpose use too, as you can tell. Foggles, foggles. I don't think I'll need those, but I feel like I have to have them. And now we have some headbands. Yes, one headband, two headband, three headband. I need three headbands. Here's a little bag that holds the prop filter, because I don't like it to get scratched up. We have another little bag, and that's what Snoopy goes in. We have another bag, 
and that little bag, this bag goes in this bag with this GoPro in it. Business checkbook and a personal checkbook. Thank you.